March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. More than 150,000 Americans develop colorectal cancer each year, making it the second most common cancer-related cause of death in the United States. I'm joined by Dr. Mark Lewis. He's the medical oncologist and director of gastrointestinal oncology at Intermountain Healthcare. Dr. Lewis, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us today. You know, over the past several months, course of a year, it seems like colon cancer has been in the news so much more, perhaps bringing more awareness to the disease. Yeah, one of the most shocking moments of my career, frankly, came when I was at home with my son watching Black Panther and my phone started going off and it was all my friends asking, you know, you're a GI oncologist. Did you hear that Chadwick Boseman died of colon cancer? And I have to be honest, I was completely shocked, but I shouldn't have been because I know two things. Number one, you cannot always see cancer from the outside. And number two, we have seen this really disturbing rise of colon cancer in younger and younger people. So the average age of a patient in my clinic is 68, but one in seven of those patients is under the age of 50 and are almost never getting screened prior to being diagnosed with serious symptoms and often advanced disease. Wow, and that's the problem. Once this disease advances, you know, your chances of survival obviously go down like so many things. Pre-screening and catching colon cancer early is key. I think a lot of people, you said you were shocked when you heard about Chadwick Boseman. Here he was, young, fit, appeared to be healthy, and I think that did shed a lot of light on people saying, well, gosh, could that be me? Could I be next? What should people do to see if they have some hereditary trait or an early growth cancer? Certainly. So, I mean, he's proof, right, that, I mean, you can literally be a superhero and you can still harbor a disease. So it has nothing to do really with your fitness or your external sense of self. So screening, what that means in cancer in general, is looking for a problem before you are otherwise aware of it. And we are very well practiced in doing it in women's health. So I actually look to my colleagues, for instance, that take care of breast cancer. They are absolutely phenomenal and having promoted for years now mammography. But here's the difference, is a mammogram shows you an abnormality in the breast. A colonoscopy finds problems in the colon and removes them. So if you're intervening on a polyp, I actually tell my patients, it's like mowing the lawn. You're cutting down a weed before it chokes out the normal grass. In this case, you're removing a polyp that left to its own devices will eventually become a cancer. Now, the good news is most polyps take years. Some of them take decades to go from a benign polyp into a cancerous growth. But if you do a colonoscopy and the gastroenterologist removes polyps, you've now fixed the problem. So that's what makes it such a powerful screening tool is it's actually prevention. Uh, that's interesting the way you put it like that. Yeah, it's kind of a shift the way you think about it. You just think, oh, are they going to tell me whether or not I have cancer? But yeah, preventative as well. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Lewis, you know, you have so much great information and we are going to link more information as well as Intermountain Healthcare's website off of our website, fox13now.com. Really quickly in closing, uh, when should people get screened for colon cancer? Great question. So there's universal agreement that no one should wait after the age of 50 to get screened. And by screening, I'll just add very briefly, it doesn't have to be a colonoscopy, it can be a test of the stool. But if the stool test tells you there's blood or cancer, you really are then compelled to think very seriously about your need for colonoscopy. Uh, Dr. Lewis, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Again, go to fox13now.com for more information on color cancer. This may be your month to get screened. Again, March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Thanks again. Be well.